everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to reorganize my wardrobe. I thought I'd give you a current little tour of what my wardrobe and drawers look like so you can sort of have the satisfaction of a before and after. So yeah, that's what I want to do. Yeah. So obviously this is so organized. Um, <laughs> okay, this is all of the clothes that can't actually fit in my wardrobe at the moment because I've got enough hangers. But that's gonna change after today because we're gonna clear some shit out. So we're gonna have space for all of this. Also, I know my bed looks kind of gross. It's because I haven't got my bedding on. Um, well, I obviously have this bedding on, but I'm just waiting for this to come out of the uh, washing machine. Let's have a look. So this is our wardrobe. Are you ready for the grander reveal? This is our wardrobe. We share it. This is Harry's side, although this is his, so let's be more realistic about this. This is our chest of drawers here. Um, this top drawer, <laughs> okay, is mine. And this bottom drawer is mine. So, I'm coming at you in my jammies. These are actually Harry's, they're from m and and this is from Monkey, and it's quite new actually. So I'm probably gonna be like, not very focused in this whole video because I haven't quite figured that out yet. I don't really know how to go about this. Like, do I do it the Marie Kondo method where I like, hug it and be like, oh, this box drawer, I'm gonna keep it. Or like, do I like, go like, practical bitch, and be like, does this actually go with my items though? Because like if it does go like great, keep it. But like if it doesn't make you happy, if it makes you feel like that though, like do you want to keep it or like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The first item it smells really nice. Um, is a t-shirt that is actually Harry's t-shirt. It's from Budapest. I wear this a lot. I'm keeping this. I am keeping, keeping, keeping this because I freaking love it. And I got it from Budapest. Um three years ago, with the love of my life, so I'm keeping it. Fun fact about me, I go to Cardiff Uni and I am failing. <laughs> so I'm currently third year, I'm supposed to be writing my dissertation, but guess what I'm doing? Filming YouTube videos. <laughs> um, this is kind of triggering to me right now, because uh, I got in first year and I was really hopeful and I was like, I'm gonna get first in uni and I'm gonna be like a successful queen and actually, at this point, I'm like, Tutu, mm, can I get a tutu? I am gonna keep it, because you can't get rid of like uni merch, do you know what I mean? Like, you can't, you just can't. This bad boy here, I wear this a lot. And then, like, I li like a lot, and I love it. My mum, it was my mum's. And, but then I saw a picture of me in it. And it was not flattering, like it was a really bad picture, and I just didn't look cute. And I actually don't think I really like it very much, you know? And it's kind of bobbly, it's lost its colour, so I am gonna get rid of this. Yeah. Oh. My friend Mimi just texted me saying love you. So I'm gonna keep this because it just makes me look so skinny, you know? I got this dress and if I can, I'll insert a picture here of me wearing it. This is the cutest dress! Oh my god, this is the cutest dress. I've never had a dress that makes me love like my figure so much in my life. And yeah, it's because it makes the girls look great. Me the girls. Um <laughs> and like little waist big but amazing. Can't go wrong. And like I just feel confident. I feel like a confident queen in this. And this may be because I had a really bad fake tan, but like a good fake tan, if you know what I mean. Like better than like this. <laughs> but like I just felt amazing and it was Halloween and I just lived my life and I've worn this since like tucked into jeans as like a t-shirt dress and I just freaking love it. So I will be keeping this but I'm going to throw it down here because I need to hang it back up. This jumper half zip I bought off Depop. It's vintage Ralph Lauren. I'm keeping it. I love it. Ow! Okay, sorry. My hang was broke. Now I bought this. <laughs> Again, I think it's really cool but I just don't. It's not actually that cool. If you can hear my washing machine, I'm sorry. But do you know what? I'm not that sorry because you don't have to listen to it every time it's on. So, <laughs> here it is. Oh, you can see on camera. See, not the same colour. This is blue, this is black. They are not the same colour. This is kind of grey. So I'm keeping both of them. And no one can stop me. 
insert the TikTok thing that was like, oh, no, 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 no. I got issues. You got them too. <laughs> that was really massive. Um, I have a lot, a lot of black t shirts. And I swear they're different. The little chili drop. This one here, I'm keeping because my friend Cal owns this brand and he is, it's called Chili, Chili Creations. Follow them on Insta. Um, but yeah, dead cute t shirt, so I'm keeping it. And it's really nice quality and sustainably made. And, you know, all that good shit. I'm too lazy to sort this out, but this is a top. Imagine it, it's really cool. It says Faded Studios on it, which is another small brand near to me, like in my studio. Um, Faded Studios, super cool brand, super cool top. It's actually like an XXL men's, and I wear it as a dress with tights and boots, and like honestly, I feel like a bad bitch. So, keep it up. If you know what jumper this is, you're an OG, not of me, of Karis. Um, Busy Bee Karis, you are enough, Y-E-E. So, yeah, Busy Bee Karis and her, well, Karis Whitaker and her husband, James Whitaker, have a brand um, with merch. And it says, you are enough on it. Fun fact about me, I was, okay, I need to come on. Fun fact about me, I was a part of their second or third launch of their merch and well of this YAE like you are enough merch because they had merch like years ago. But anyway, their most recent merch release I helped model for. I was the thick gal. Not the thickest gal, but the thick gal on the shoot. So I was like 12 to 14. 14. And I modelled all of their bits and bobs for them and it was really fun and amazing makeup artist came and lovely photographer and it was just the best day ever and but I bought this when she released this one and I'm really glad I did because I was going to get the grey but I got the black because I wear black so much and then the second thing I got given a grey one so I'm going to show you the grey one because here's the grey one the grey one is actually it is much nicer because the second launch it says year enough just here this one, oh, it's the cropped version. They do long versions too. I don't know if they have like YE stuff like available still. Um, if they do, I'll link it below. If they don't, then mm, toss. Um, but yeah, super comfy. So there's me plugging YE. Not that it needs it because I've got 400 and something subscribers and Karis has like 600,000. So this jumper here is the Hermione freaking Granger, the Luna Lovegood of jumpers. It is magical. This jumper makes this 14 gal look like a size 8 gal, and I don't really know how. It's a large jumper, so it should be, you know, roomy, but it's from H&M, so it fits more like a small to a medium, because H&M needs to sort their fucking sizes out. This jumper makes me look slim thick, and I will forever keep it. I don't even really like it that much, but it makes me look banging, so I'm keeping it. This is essentially a video of me just showing you my clothes and being like, this is why I'm keeping all my clothes because I'm so fashionable, which is just not it. Like, I'm not a fashionable girl. I'm not. I just like things that make me look comfy and, like, happy and, like, I wear them to work. This top here, my boyfriend got for me when he went on holiday. He went, um... Oh, he went to Canada. He went to Toronto. And he bought me about this as my holiday souvenir. He also bought me, like, a really cute totem. But like, because you know, like a Canadian thing. But like, he got me this because he knew I'd actually want it. And it's Michael Scott and it's the quote from The Office that says, I'm not superstitious, but I'm a little stitious. And fun fact, before I knew he'd got me this, I didn't know he'd got me this. We were in the car driving back from the Midlands in, the UK, in England to Cardiff, where we live. And he said something about being superstitious about something, can't remember what. And I was like, I'm not superstitious, I'm a little stitious. And he knew that this freaking t-shirt was in his suitcase ready to give to me. Isn't that cute? This jumper here, I've had it for ages. It's actually not very flattering. I've realised I don't like v-neck things. I just don't like them. They're not flattering. I feel like when you've got big mama wungas, chimichangas, it's just not flattering. This top here, I love and I'm keeping it. This top is a merch top from, I've realised a lot of my clothing is like merch and like just like sentimental clothing. That's kind of cute. I quite like that. I love it and I'm keeping it. Even though I'm really scared to wear it because it's white and I stain everything. So I'm not going to wear it. But that's fine. <coughs> this top here, I'm going to keep. But I'm going to make it redundant to a jammy top. It's just a Guns N' Roses merch top thing. I don't listen to Guns N' Roses. I'm not cool enough. Ooh, okay. 
This top here is going to get made redundant into a painting top or a pajama top. I'm not getting rid of it because it's from Sigrid. And I don't know if you know who Sigrid is. Um, don't kill my vibe. You think it's all important to me, don't you? Ha. Huh. I'm... Don't get copyrighted. It sounded just like her. I got stains on it, like, the first time I wore it. And I'm not getting rid of it because I love Sigrid. And I was so happy to support Sigrid when I bought that top and went to her gig. Um, so I'm not getting rid of it. That's boring, but I'm gonna keep it. This top here is a crop top. Uh, I love this top because it's cute. My tits pop out the bottom, so I gotta keep it. Because that is not adequate. TikTok reference. <sighs> you know the drill. Makes me sad because I'm a stupid student, but I'm gonna keep it. Am I in focus? Okay, at this point, I don't know if I'm in focus or not, and I don't really care. This is a jumpsuit with pockets and a yellow stripe down the side. And it's got like shitty bits on the side there, and they're really cute. I don't think they're called the shitty bits, but you know what I mean, like bunchy bits. And this is really cute, and it makes my tummy look like it makes me like go from the uh, from. Uh, if you're looking at me, you're like, but if you're on the side, you're like, and like that's fine. I don't really mind that because like I've got a pouch, and like but if I'm wearing this, it's because I'm going for dinner, and it means I'm about to fill that pouch. So why would I hide it? I need it out. It has a purpose. <laughs> this is my other Budapest top and I'm going to keep it because this one is actually a size medium, the other one's an XL, this one's a medium so this is when I want to be a skinny bitch, that one's when I want to be a, like, a hidden bitch. This dress is going because it's broken and I had to sew it back together loads of times and every time I wear it I know that my boob is going to come out and it's just not good so it's good. This is a really annoying one because it still has the tag on. Because I have a fear of turtlenecks and turtlenecky things. Like look, oh wow she's got a tall line. No, <laughs> I can't do it, I can't. So I'm going to get, get put this in a charity shop because then someone could sell it and have it and they could have the charity shop money. And I paid 12 pounds for this and that's really sad, but <sighs> that's what you get for not making good decisions when you buy clothes. Beyonce and Jay-Z, tall, overpriced, completely overpriced. Jay-Z and Beyonce could afford to give these away to everyone in the whole world for free, but I paid 25 pounds for it and I'm annoyed so I'm keeping it. That's everything in my wardrobe. Um, yeah, so now I've done that bit where I've kind of gone through most of my clothes. I skipped some of the boring ones, um, but I've been through most of my clothes with you. Um, I am now going to do my bottom drawer. See you in a second. Hey, so I don't know if I'm in focus, but I think my drawer is. Um, I'm going to do this quickly. Don't know how to do music over this bit, so I'm just gonna make noise. Do 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 That was quick. This here is really boring. It's just a tin where I put old things that I don't really need in, like memory sticks and um one of these things. You know one of these? You know one of these. Yeah. I'm not going to show you my underwear drawer because that's kind of gross, but what I am going to do now is I'm going to put all of the things that I'm keeping away and put all the things that I'm not keeping in a charity bag and then put my bed sheets back on my bed and then I'm going to show you my nice tidy bedroom so you get the satisfaction of having a nice ending and you get to say, oh well done puppy, you made that look so much better. Yay! So my bed's all made. If we open up my wardrobe, there's that. I haven't sorted out my shoes, but that's fine. And look, there's no clothes that are on doubled up hangers now. They're all like how they should be. Da 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 da. da. Oh, <laughs> okay. Da da. <laughs> so we've got um, bad lighting. Da 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 da. Yeah, how much better does that look? So that concludes today's video. Um, I'm actually doing an outro, which is so cool. I always forget to do that. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like and um, let me know in the comments if you liked it. Um, also let me know in the comments um, what your star sign is. Um, <laughs> because I wanna know what your star sign is. Um, make sure you subscribe because your girl wants to hit a thousand subscribers. Cool, thanks, bye.